In this tutorial, we're going to look at PFO Pro and its ability to track additional features. Although we've got a good solution here, it would be nice to have the table actually laid out for our 3D artists. So let's start by adding some user features. Hold down the spacebar and I can add a new feature. And click and drag. And add another feature. Click and drag. You get the idea. Space bar each time you want the menu. Uh, click and drag. Now we've placed these features, we can start tracking them. What I would suggest is we go down here again, click and hold and drag up. This graph here will actually show you what the tracking is doing. Hitting the space bar again, we can now track backwards. And I won't bore you with uh, this, but I'll uh, let you show that this one goes out pretty quickly and if I hit the escape button and then alt to move in let's see where it doesn't look too bad let's hit the space bar again track backwards That seems to be going OK. And if we treat each one like this, each time it starts to get a little bit red, a little bit nervous, we can hit escape. We can drag along to where we're not happy. Hit the space bar again. And track forwards, sorry, backwards. I think you get the idea, we'll carry on with all the other points and come back when we've completed. Now we have all our user features tracked, we just need to solve them. So again, using the spacebar, solve feature. Now the user features are solved, we can export those along with the auto features to our 3D or compositing package. These user features can also be used to help improve the original solution. By deselecting the user features, we can now, using the spacebar, improve the solution, including these user features. I think that just about covers user features. In the next tutorial, I'll look at setting the solver start frame. Try saying that when you've had a few pints.